President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber will hear the remaining testimony of Mung Chan D in relation to Oconsign Security Center. Mr. Sakobote, please report to the attendance of the parties and other individuals to today's proceedings. Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the grave. The witness who is to conclude the testimony today, that is Madame Mung Jandi, and the TPO staff, Sun Solida, are present in the courtroom. We do not have a reserve witness today. Thank you. President, thank you. Ms. Sakobuti, the chamber now decides on the request by Nunji. The chamber has received a waiver from Nunji dated 7 March 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his right to be present at the 7 March 2016 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequences of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at ECCC, dated 7 March 2016, which notes that Nguyen Chi has a chronic back pain and feels dizzy when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber so grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the Chamber grants Nguyen Chi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. The Chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can follow that applies for the whole day.